Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general weekly reading for November 29th through December 5th for anyone with Sag in their chart. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energies may show up reverse for you. So take the messages that resonate, leave what does not. If the message does resonate, please like the video, comment down below, share, subscribe. It helps my channel so much and I'm so grateful for all of you. Okay, so we're going to kick off this reading, checking in with the zodiac signs, seeing what's going up with them this week for you guys to get a better look, okay? So, my loves, if you are dealing with an Aries, ooh, the high priestess in the reverse, someone may want to communicate to you, um... Hmm, but I feel like they're keeping secrets, okay? I kind of wish I can clarify that, but if it's important, it'll come out in the reading, okay? So just be mindful of that. If you're dealing with a Taurus, oh, two cards are coming out crazy this week. Three of Cups in the reverse with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is not going forward because of passion, but because of almost like um, revenge towards something or you, okay? So be mindful. And it could be um, like a hookup to get over somebody. That's what's coming through kind of, okay? So be careful. Wow. Um, okay, if you're dealing with the Gemini, I hope that makes sense for somebody. Nine of Cups in the reverse, okay? Somebody no longer wants what they thought they once did, okay? If you're dealing with a Cancer, Page of Swords in the reverse, Wow, someone's walking away here, okay? Or they're at least taking a break, okay? They're really mentally exhausted from trying to understand you or your point of view, okay, Sag? None of, nobody gets you during Sag season. What the heck? <laughs> You're dealing with a Leo. Here we go. Lots of passion. Lots and lots of passion, okay? Someone also may be very highly attracted to you as well, okay? Mm, that fire energy, okay? If you guys are dealing with a Virgo, the high, ooh, I'm sorry, the Empress. Lots of love, okay? Unconditional love. There is a beautiful relationship here with lots of empathy, compassion, forgiveness, okay? Um, yeah, lots of nurture. I love that for you, okay? If you're dealing with a Libra, the Ace of Cups in the reverse, okay? Somebody's not able to offer love right now, okay? They may not even love themselves right now, okay? Leave that one there. If you're dealing with the Scorpio, the Hangman in the reverse, somebody has a new perspective, okay? They're seeing things possibly from your point of view, okay? But they've gained the clarity that they've needed or they are this week, it looks like, okay? If you're dealing with a fellow Sagittarius, Five of Cups in the reverse. Someone wants to move forward here, leave the pain in the past, move towards happiness, move towards love. Okay? Beautiful. Um, if you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, Four of Wands, transition. Okay? Could be reunion or union, a celebration of some kind. Okay? Um, either something's happening in work. Okay, you could be getting promoted or this could be a proposal. Okay, it could be any number of things, but it's all about elevation, growth, okay, stability, commitment. It's beautiful. Uh, who are we on Aquarius? If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Knight of Cups in the reverse, someone isn't able to offer their love right now. Okay, um, ego is coming through heavily with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, <sighs> if you're dealing with a Pisces. The two of cups, mm, soulmate connection, someone recog more deeply, okay, someone recognizes themselves within you or vice versa. It's really beautiful. It's harmony, okay? So let me switch decks here and we will take a look at what's going on this week. Okay, the world in the reverse, cycle's not complete, hasn't come to an end. The star, Aquarius energy, and the ace of swords, clarity and truth. Woo! All righty, righty. Why has something not come to the end if we're seeing truth? Let's clarify, okay? Because that's kind of what it is. It's like, there's a wish here. Somebody doesn't want to let go of something. 
Maybe they have new information, okay? This could be somebody coming back or you wanting to contact someone from your past very heavily coming through, okay? Uh, let's clarify the world in the reverse. What's this cycle? What's not over? Let's see if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, yeah, offer of love. Oh, my goodness gracious. Somebody could definitely be coming back with an apology. Again, um, an offer of love. And this can look like a text message, right? Hey, how are you? I've been thinking about you. The sun, Leo energy, lots of happiness. The high priestess in the reverse. Did I not say if it's important, it'll come up in the reading? Was that for Aries? Whatever, okay? Pisces energy. No more secrets. Somebody wants to talk. <laughs> I just got Lucy. You got some splaining to do, okay? Like, Lucy is ready to chat and explain where she was coming from and why she acted ridiculous, Okay. And like, isn't that such like a really great analogy? I mean, I don't know if anyone here has seen like the I Love Lucy reruns, but like she was always like getting herself into like chaos and like self-destruction, but wasn't she always so genuine and pure behind it, right? I don't know where this is coming from. I hope it clicks from somebody. I'm expecting it to click for somebody, okay? There's a reason that came up. Um, it's very child, it's very innocent-like, it's very vulnerable is the energy, okay? Somebody's kind of like, I feel like a fool. Um, I, I want to talk about it. There's happiness here. There's love. But here's what's interesting. The Knight of Pentacles just jumped out. So is this stable? Is this healthy? Is this genuine or attachment? Let's look deeper, okay? Uh, the star. This is definitely delayed here. Three of Swords in the reverse. Wow, there was a lot of pain that somebody had to overcome or has put you through, okay? Or if this is you approaching them, you're aware of the pain, but you're offering something, again, very genuine, very pure, okay? Again, however it resonates, okay? If you're not planning on trying to contact somebody with some truth, somebody wants to come in, Sag, that harmed you. Jesus, look at this. That caused you pain. They know. They don't want to hurt anymore, Sagittarius, they want forgiveness. They want to find common ground. Wow. They want commitment. This is crazy. Let's get some clarity on their clarity, shall we? This is like awakening epiphany. <laughs> wow. Okay, the Eight of Wands just fell out. It looked like it was going to be reversed, but it landed upright. They want to communicate. They want to come in. There's fear, okay, because there's a hesit, like somebody's hesitant. I don't know why I can't ever say that, but they're going to do it. Oh my God, they're going to do it. Oh, somebody's passionate as if this is you, okay, this is you swallowing your ego here, okay? Like, this is all about you um, can't not do it. There, there's purpose. There's passion. I don't know. This is beautiful. Six of Wands in the reverse. There it is, the nervousness that you're going to be rejected. Mocked even, okay? Or this is how they feel, okay? Be very, very mindful. So, wow. Okay, if this is not resonating, um, I'd suggest check in with me next week, guys, because this is going to be a past return or connection reaching out, okay? Um, doesn't have to be in love. It can be with a family member or a friend for an apology, but I'm really getting love, okay? So let's look in your past and see what spirit wants us to know. Okay, death in reverse, Scorpio energy, queen of wands in the reverse, somebody was not brave enough to go after what they were being drawn to, whoa, ten of pentacles, happiness, oh my goodness, there is a potential for foundation for happiness is what's coming up here, okay, Sag, but somebody couldn't let their demons go, you or them. Okay, take it how it resonates. Somebody still had healing to do. Okay, could be third party energy toxicity. Okay, we may see the devil card come up. Let's see what just fell out. Strengthen the reverse with the lovers. Somebody 
wanted and manifested this connection so deeply in their soul, okay? Um, <laughs> but oh my God, are they fucking afraid of it? Sorry, like just gotta be blunt here, okay? They have to, to earn this type of divine love, Sagittarius, okay? This energy, again, you or them, had to meet their demons, okay? At a completely different level here to have this. Like, the universe basically said, prove it. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Let's clarify here this death in the reverse, please, okay? Because it's a cycle of running from love okay being afraid right yep because we don't have a solid foundation within ourselves we are always wondering what it means to feel fulfilled okay we don't have a sense of stability right so the second that somebody shows up in our life okay you showed up in this person's life or they showed up in your life and showed you what happiness looked like truth I know there's one Sag that's watching this video that knows this is like a personal message right now. <laughs> I'm freaking out for you, girl. Like, I know we just talked about this. I love you. But um, moving on, okay? This is the energy and I'm so excited for all of you guys because this is talking about divine intervention here, okay? This is higher than ourselves, okay? Somebody had to do the work. Somebody had to meet their soul, okay, and understand their purpose, safety, really understand what love was, okay, and what that meant to them and what they wanted because things were taken for granted here. I'm telling you, people had to meet their demons. Somebody met deep demons, okay? Coping skills, it could be through sex, drugs, okay, whatever that means. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, very intense beautiful energy it's what i could only hope to ever preach the tower and the hermit both just flipped over in the reverse my loves okay sorry i have an itchy nose something i started something else okay the king of wands in the reverse yeah until somebody was willing to go to the deepest level okay of their core and heal okay, and build a home within themselves, a sense of stability and trust within themselves to be willing to meet themselves as deeply as their partner wants to meet them, okay, um, this person, okay, if this is about them, you wanted to meet them so deeply and love them, but they didn't know how to accept that is what I'm trying to say, okay, so if that's for you, it's vice versa, somebody was approaching you, but you had to meet yourself that deep first, before you could allow this energy to come in. That's exactly what was going on here. You were not there yet. Why do I feel like you're there? Or this person's there? We're going to find out if this energy is you or them. This could literally be... And I'm not doing a Twin Flame update this <laughs> uh, month. So congrats if you see this. Because I may just consider this the Twin Flame update. Let's check in with current energy. It's very hard to tell you and your person apart is what I'm saying. There's mirroring energy all over the place. Okay, it could have been runner chaser, runner chaser. <coughs> Excuse me. Queen of Wands just came out. Stability, the moon trying to figure it out. How do I be stable? How do I complete myself? How do I show up for myself? How do I have this amazing connection in my life and not lose myself in it? right? How do I not become distracted by other people and their needs? Oh my God, six of cups. Yes, exactly. How do I allow myself to have this without losing myself? That's the question for you, Sagittarius, this week. Let's see if I can help you, okay? It's going to be different for all of you because there's different layers that you're meeting of yourselves. We're on different timelines, different journeys, okay? But let's see what I can get in the energy. <clears throat> And also, I, rec I would suggest maybe um, looking at what does stability mean for you first so you know what you're trying to fill, okay, and what you're trying to balance, okay, what you're taking on. Clarifying the moon, we have the eight of cups, abandonment issues, my love, okay, feeling like either you've been walked away from, this can stem from childhood, okay, you weren't allowed to express yourself emotionally, right, so you're, there's a fear of vulnerability there perhaps, 
okay? Feeling like you're always alone, okay? Empty, right? That nothing's ever going to satisfy that, okay? If this is not you, this is your fear about that for them, right? They haven't met themselves as deeply as you have yet, okay? I hope that makes sense. What else, please? The Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're really, really, really afraid that somebody doesn't have the truth they're preaching to have, okay? Hmm. This could also, I'm going to be really straight with you guys, spirit be directly saying, you're completely afraid of something that isn't even real. Okay, it's a fear of yours. It's the moon. It's your subconscious. Okay, it's not here, right? And with the ace of swords in the reverse and in your subconscious, it's a false belief. Okay, or a toxic belief, an unhealthy belief, one that's not serving you anymore. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so beautiful. I, my loves, if this is resonating, please like it. Comment down below. Okay, more people deserve to see this. Absolutely. Let me clarify. I want to get a sense of what you see as your stability. Let's see what the energy can tell me. Spirit, please. Okay, wow. <clears throat> You're going forward here, okay? Your idea of stability is a fresh new beginning, okay? Everybody has a fresh start. We're equal. Nobody's coming into this relationship or you don't feel out of balance. Okay. That's what stability means for you. And that's beautiful. That should be your measurement for everything you do in life. Do I feel balanced? Is this for the highest good for everyone? If you could manage, okay, like to <laughs> apply that concept to everything you do in life. And I'm talking about from work decisions, okay, <laughs> family decisions, love decisions, to a merging in a drive-thru, okay? You will be better for it, okay? <sighs> One of the most deepest readings I've ever done, hands down, absolutely. Let me clarify the Six of Cups. I mean, this is a soulmate connection. If you're interested in like shadow work and deeper layers of this, it's also talking about you being in touch with your inner child, very connected with your soul. Check out your shadow work video, okay? The world. Yeah, you've learned some lessons here. This could be travel. You're ready to ascend now, okay? And this has been uh, kind of a theme in all the readings, Sagittarius. Um, we've hit our glass ceiling, okay? Uh, it's time to evolve. We outgrew our comfort zone, right? Oh my goodness, two cards just fell. Hold on, guys. Okay. Your only job is to keep doing what you're doing, right? So it looks like somebody may be coming towards you with an apology. Sagittarius, okay? Let's check in with the energy going on around you. Oh my goodness. Okay, the Knave of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Follow your intuition here, okay? It is saying someone is very sincere. I love Lucy. They're very sincere. They're also um, possibly naive, okay? They mean what they're saying, but understand that they have only met themselves thus far, okay? There's a difference in... And I don't mean this in a negative way whatsoever. We're all on our, again, our own timelines, our own journeys. But there's a difference in emotional intelligence with what you're dealing with, okay? Or who you're dealing with, excuse me. However, their intentions are absolutely to not be in the dark anymore, okay? They don't want to keep repeating these toxic cycles. They don't want to be in pain. They don't want to cause any chaos. Absolutely not. However... I just don't know, and I'm going to clarify for you, okay, that they've been doing the work or really know what they're getting into in this healing journey or what they're getting into with trying to, um, like, can their actions measure their words to you, okay? I hope that makes sense. Sometimes it's hard for me to translate the energy, but they're wishing for this hard and they're they are saying they're willing to do the work. They think they are, 
What I'm telling you is they don't know how hard it is. Am I saying they're going to run? Absolutely not. No, their intentions are not to run. But Spirit is acknowledging they don't know what they, they're getting into the, yet. Okay, there's free will at stake. I can't. This week is where we're at. Okay, it's a seven-day reading. Check in next week. Um, What else, Spirit? Breadcrumbing you, possibly, but they also realize it. Okay, that they haven't given enough to this, they haven't tried hard enough to this, they haven't invested um, or been on this journey as long as you, they realize it and they're going to tell you that. Okay, so as long as they're speaking that truth, I mean, it's very honest. Okay, it really is just um, gender not doesn't matter. Okay, but embrace the Empress energy. Okay, and just meet somebody where they are. Okay. That would be my advice for you, how to keep yourself safe and to, how to not lose yourself. That was the question for you, right? How do I allow this in my life and remain stable and not lose myself in this? You don't take on their shit, okay? You can have somebody in your life that does not know as much as you or has learned as much as you, but you have to realize what you're dealing with and have boundaries and be prepared to do that, okay? So... There's work there. So definitely watch that shadow work video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so what, let me switch decks. Um, what is Sagittarius not aware of? What do they need to know? The priest commitment. Okay, this could be spiritual commitments. Um, again, twin flame relationship commitment. Absolutely. Taurus energy, but whatever it is, it's divinely guided. And I told you that in the beginning of the reading. Okay. Somebody's got to release the burden though. Okay, no more carrying around being a martyr, showing up for everybody, taking responsibility, or just holding yourself back from evolving. Okay, this glass house of a comfort zone, it doesn't fit what your purpose is. It doesn't fit what you're meant to do. It doesn't fit the love you're trying to bring into your life. Okay, here's some advice for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, oh my goodness, I'll tell you what. Capricorn was having a pretty good ride for the last few weeks, but you just broke it. <laughs> I haven't done their reading yet, okay? <laughs> Let's hope. It can only be good if they're elevating as well. But this is beautiful. It's probably, I, yeah, it's a great reading. It's one of my favorites I've done. Thank you for being here with me. Okay, advice for Sagittarius, please. Really consider your future and what you don't know. Be open to the fact that you don't know things. Be willing to do things differently than you have done in the past, than you've learned to do. Be open to trying new methods, okay? Studying something else, switching up, okay? Whatever you're not comfortable with, do that. Do more of that. It's going to guide you, okay? Anything else, Spirit? It's going to lead you right to the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have it all, Sagittarius. It's beautiful. I hope it was helpful. Please like share, comment down below. Please help me get this out to other stages. I would appreciate it. Most of all, be kind to yourselves. I love you guys so much. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my email in the description box below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.